Well, hello and welcome to the Sunday night, 9.30 Eastern training call. My name is Sharon Dominguez and I'm gonna be your host for this evening. And I'm gonna to bring to you whether or not, or, or should we be leading with the business or the products? And so I'm gonna bring some training to you around that. So, but before, before we jump in, I'd love to share my story with you. Um, my story is, um, is very important to me as your story should be very important to you. And I'll touch on that in a little bit in the rest of the presentation. So have you ever had one of those events in your life where you remember exactly where you are or were, exactly what you were doing, and the date would be ingrained in your brain for the rest of your life? So I had one of those and it was January 18th, 2013. I, would just, I had just gotten my kids off the bus. We were walking home when I received a phone call from my dad. And my dad said three sentences. Ramon's been in an accident. It doesn't look good. You need to get to the hospital. So I jumped in the car. Lucky for me, it was Friday night, New York rush hour traffic. It took me an hour to go 11 miles. And um, every minute that went by, I knew it wasn't good because Ramon and I had a pact that if he were to get hurt, see, he was a retired now thoroughbred jockey. Um, and he was at the height of his career when this accident happened. He actually was inducted into the um, Racing Hall of Fame in 2016. And so we had this pact that not if, but when he got hurt, that he would call me, whether he borrowed a phone from the ambulance driver, um, whatever it took to get a phone and call me and let me know that he was okay. And that call never came that Friday night. And so when I arrived at the hospital, he was in the trauma unit. I could see the doors swinging back and forth and he was laying actually right in the bed in front. Um, he had a white sheet from his chest down. He had been intubated because his he had been non-responsive since the ambulance had picked him up at the track. And he was shaking so bad that he was actually like levitating off the table. At least that's how it looked to me. So when I finally tracked down the doctor, the doctor said those same words to me again, it doesn't look good. And at that point that night, I didn't know if he was gonna live or die. Um, but fortunately for us, he did regain consciousness to some extent. And then the question became, what, how much of him would recover, right? What would, what would that look like? Like, would he wanna be married again? Would he um, remember his children, right? All of those things. It was a very scary time in our life. But fortunately for us, um, he did recover. And six months after, his accident, um, the same lady who had introduced us to uh, Life Vantage five months before his accident asked me if I was looking for something, which I think she already knew I was. And that's when she invited me to look at Life Vantage as a business. See, when she had introduced us before, we had looked at the ABC News report and we knew that information was important. I just didn't know how important it was at the time. And so we both went on product uh, August of 2012. And so I thank God every single day that she shared this information with us. So let me just back up a little bit. Um, in two, two years or the two years before his accident, we were, I, me, I was looking for an online business. I've always been an entrepreneur and I was fortunate enough to be a stay-at-home mom. And from the time that Ramon and I got married, I became Mrs. Ramon Dominguez. And then when I started having children, I became Alex and Matthew's mom. And so I knew that when they went to school full time, I was, it was me time, it was Sharon time. And I was gonna have a business, I just didn't know what, I was searching. And of course, then the accident happened, so that kind of set things back. But Debbie followed up with me and she came back and shared this information again from a business standpoint. That was six and a half years ago. And I am so grateful every day that she did because our lives are forever 
changed in a way that has allowed us to to grow as a family, to grow as a life vantage family, and to create income that I didn't understand how that was possible. Um, so that's my story. Ramon is is thriving. He's doing amazingly well. Um, he has actually gone on to invent a piece of riding equipment that is getting ready to be launched globally. So we're super excited for him that he can make his impact in the world. And for me, I'm super excited about LifeVantage sharing not just our products, but also our business model. And that's really important to, uh, to me because in 2018, we decided to move. And I was able to take four months off of my life manage business. I had created a really nice foundation and my business didn't fall apart. And I was able to get our kids acclimated into school. And I was also able to sell our house in, in we were in Long Island at the time and just take care of life, right? And so that's what I want for all of you. That's what I, you know, if that's your desire, like I want you guys to all be able to experience that as well. So let's dive into our training tonight. Okay, products or business. So it's my belief that when we just talk about one or the other, we rob our friends, our family, our acquaintances, strangers, of an opportunity to do the to to participate in the other and i believe if you present both that's a win-win because you're now allowing the person to choose what they want instead of somewhat you know if i i've been in a i've done it right i've only talked to product about people and i'm not talking about this the person who's um dealing with health and they can't focus on the business. This is a training more of when you're reaching out to people and you just want to share life vantage. And so I believe that giving people both scenarios is what allows them to pick and choose what they want. So here's the process. It's the same whether you're doing the business, product, or both. You invite, you share a tool, and you introduce your friend or acquaintance or uh, prospect to a tool or to a, to a team member. And so my invite has shifted since going to Cancun. Ah, and I wanna move this out of my way. Um, so rather than just talking about one or the other, I share an invitation or invite people through an invitation that might look like something like this. I'm launching a new business, and this is for people who are new. I'm launching a new business and thought of you. Not sure if it's for you or not. If you're open to taking a look, I'd love to share some information with you, right? So I didn't talk about product or business. I just said I'm launching a business. Any business has a product or service, right? I recently aligned with a publicly traded biotech company, and I'm lining up partners. I thought of you. I'm not sure if it's for you. But if you're open to taking a look, I can send you some information. So if you guys want, you can screenshot those so that you're not having to try to um, write it all down. I'll leave that for a second. Um, let's see. Okay, oops, let me go back. Um, and so this is, this is more for me or for people who have been in for a while. I'm working, I've been working with a publicly traded company for the last uh, six and a half years, or actually five and a half years. And it's going really well. I'm now building out phase two. Not sure if it's for you, but if you're open to taking a look, I would love to share some information with you. For the last five year, five and a half years, I've been building a global business and it's gone extremely well. Now I'm lining up business partners for phase two. Thought of you. Not sure if it's for you, but if you're open to taking a look, I can send you some information. So the reason I'm really loving this invitation is number one, 
you're allowed, you let them know that you're in business, right? How many times have you shared something with someone and then you like kind of forgot to tell them it was your business, right? So that alleviates that. It also lets them know that you're lining up partners. So it just puts everything out on the table. So sometimes people will say, well, what is it? And I just simply reply, it's a publicly traded biotech company. And then I immediately follow that up. Would you be open to checking out some information? Or I've had people say, what's the name of the company? Life Vantage. Have you heard of us? And they'll say, I don't think so, because most people haven't. And then I would say, would you be open to checking out some information, right? So I'm always gonna go back to see if they're open to checking out information. And then our favorite question, right? Is this MLM? Yes, right? Don't beat around the bush. People don't like that kind of stuff. They feel like you're trying to sneak, be sneaky. Yes, what do you know about them? It's us, or what do you know about MLM? Um, or have you ever done one? Let them answer. They may surprise you with the answer. I've had um, someone recently tell me that they have, were looking at a different network marketing company. So this was perfect timing for them to be able to maybe have some options. Would you be open to checking out some information? So you're gonna go right back into that question of would you be open to checking out the information? Now, if they say yes, great. I let them know that I'm gonna send them a couple of pieces of information. Um, first, I'm gonna send them an ABC News report that was done on the company. And second, I'm gonna send them an overview of our company and what we do. So again, in I'm using the um, biohack and activate.com. So the ABC News report is right there. And then the other, um, the other link in there is biohackandactivate.com, and I have a slide so you can screenshot that when we get to it. But it's an overview. It talks about our product line, all the different products that we have, and it also talks about our business and what we do. It doesn't get into great detail, but they don't need to get into great detail unless they're interested, and they're going to let you know that. So then I let them know that together, they are about 45 minutes total or 40 minutes total. And then when will you be able to take a look, right? I want to know when they're going to be able to look at this information and they will let you know, right? Oh, geez, I've got this. I've got that. I'll probably Thursday after work. And then I'm just going to ping pong back with them back and forth and figure out a time that we can connect as soon as possible after they've watched it, even if it's just for five minutes. Right, that's really key that as soon as they're done watching that you're able to connect with them, even if it's just for five minutes. You kind of want to get, you want to be able to ask them that question, what did you like best, what resonated with you, right? So then you agree on a time. Now you're going to send them the information once you've established the time. So here's the tool um, that I was referring to. And if you have your own, feel free to use that too. This is just what I'm using. Um, the ABC News Report. The ABC News Report. Um, it's great on, uh, for the biohack and activate.com because it's, everything is right there. Like there's, there's um, peer reviewed studies, the patents are there, there's doctors talking, there's some other cool videos they can check out. And then I also send them the biohack and activate dot com forward slash overview. It's that cute little video. It's not cute. It's a beautiful video with the, with the microscope. And it shows who we are as a company. And they've updated it. Um, the, the website actually has updated it. Um, and then there's also some other videos of, you know, how to pick a pack. Like, what does that look like? And you, you'll talk to them when you get back in touch with them. You'll also find out that what they've, what they've, um, what other videos they looked at. The other thing that I do like to send is the replicated website. And I use what is biohacking. So if you're not familiar with that, go to your website, 
it's right on that front page and it says, what is biohacking? And then you can click on that, grab your um, URL and you can send them that too and say, hey, here's a replicated website if you wanna check it out. So that is a great article to get started with and a great introduction into our, our, um, our replicated website. Okay. And then we're gonna go right into our questions, right? What did you like best? What resonated with you? And I asked those two questions back to back without them answering. I just say, so what did you like best? Or, or what resonated with you? And then I let them answer. And here's the really cool thing is that they will tell you what is important to them. If they're really interested in health, then that's probably what they want. They probably want products, right? They want, there's some problem that they want solved and that's why they're looking at the health part, right? If they talk about the business, now you know that they're interested in the business because the business possibly has an answer to a problem that they have regarding a horrible job, not enough money, wanting to bring someone home, wanting to retire, all of those things. They're thinking to themselves, maybe this could be a possibility. Sometimes people ask you how you got involved. This is where it's really important for you to know how to tell your story and what is your story. Why are you doing this business, right? And then there's also now we're going to move into the team part of it, introducing them to a team member. So when I first got started, it was super awkward. I'd be like, uh, I don't know that answer, but let me get someone on the phone who can answer that for you. It was super, super awkward. And so now what I do is I just want to introduce one friend to another friend, right? Someone that I'm working with. And it's super important that you find, try to find a common, you know, similar person. Maybe it's, if it's a girl, it's a girl, a guy, a guy, maybe somebody who's a school teacher, like try to match them up. And if you can't, that's okay. Because there's probably going to be something that they will connect with. How many times have you met a friend of a friend and you're like, oh my gosh, I went to that college too. Or, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. And you like instantly have a connection. That's the same thing that will probably happen on your call. So just make sure you edify your, your three-way um, person as well as your, your friend. Um, and the way that I set these up is that I create a group chat. Um, probably text messages mainly, but sometimes I do it on Messenger as well. And then what I do is I try to figure out a time that we can all talk. So here's what that looks like. So I do a quick introduction. Hi ladies, I'm super excited to make this introduction. Sally, meet Michelle Smith. She's one of the leaders in LV, Life Vantage, and I'm blessed to have her in my inner circle. Michelle, meet Sally Jones. We've been friends since high school, and I just love this girl. Looking forward to connecting the two of you. And so from that conversation, then we'll go into um, setting up a time. But I do want to make sure that when you set this group call up, whoever your advisor is, your team person, you want to make sure that they jump back on and say hello. Hi, Sally. So nice to meet you. So nice to connect with you. Thanks, Sharon, for the introduction. And then you want to jump back on and say, hey, how about Thursday or Friday? Um, you know, which will work for you. And then you just whittle it down to a, a time. And I think what that does is give someone an opportunity to breathe. And there, there's, it's not always going to work like that. Sometimes you're going to be able to get someone on the phone right away, right? Hey, happened to be talking to a friend of mine this morning and realized that you two are both school teachers. And I asked her if she wouldn't mind if I did a quick introduction. So that's also a way, but most of the time it's, it's not like slam dunking people. I want it to feel natural. 
I want it to feel just like it would if I had two great friends that I wanted to connect because they both could help, from, help each other. The follow-up. This is super, super important. Had Debbie not followed up with me, I don't know if I would be here right now, but I'm super grateful she did, right? She even had to follow up with me a couple of times for the product. So kudos to Debbie, thank you. I so appreciate that. So I always want to book an appointment from an appointment. So now I've got them on the three-way chat or the three-way call and we're going to book our next appointment. Most likely, they're gonna have more questions. And when they have more questions, you're gonna give them, you're gonna invite them to another tool, right? If I sent you this video, when would you have a chance to take a look at it? It's probably 10 minutes long, right? And then, you're going to follow up with that person. It could be with your team member again, the three of you could be on your own, right? So you're gonna invite them to take a look at another tool. You're gonna to send them to that tool. And then you may or may not use a team, but it's, it's, I like doing that, right? Because it makes it a little more accountable and your friend may feel comfortable, of course, with a complete stranger, because that's just how we are. So let's go to your story. It is super, super important that you understand your story because your story is tied to your why. And if you've been on the last probably six or eight weeks of Carrie and Stu's call, you're gonna start to hear how to tell your story in a much more effective way so that you grab their attention and they want to hear more because your story shouldn't be a resume. So listen to some of those calls if you haven't heard them. They're super amazing. Sharice Matthews has done a phenomenal job at sharing that information with us and really diving deep into how to, share, how to tell your story. But your why is most likely, or is actually tied to your story. There's some component, there's some pivotal moment in your life when you decided that you needed a change. You wanted to do something different. So I'll give you a quick example. When I was in Cancun, I met with a young woman. She's probably about, um, I don't know, 23 at the most. She looked like she was 12, super adorable. And she had told me that she didn't have a story, right? And that she didn't really know what her why was. I said, so what do you do? And she said, she's into some sort of like nutrition and health and eating, you know, healthy lifestyle. And so then she, um, I said, well, how did that come about? Like, what got you interested in that? And she said, oh, I don't know. Our family's always been like that. Yikes. And so what I said to her was, I said, there's usually a moment, an event, that happens in your life when you decide that you are gonna take control. And so it turns out that when she was young, probably in her early teens, that her grandmother got sick with pneumonia and then shortly after that was diagnosed with ALS. And that was the moment she burst into tears because she knew that she was going to go to school and learn how to, not just for herself, but to teach other people how to take better care of their health, right? So I'm gonna leave you with that because I really think that's a really super, super important part to understand why you're doing this business. Because you could just be a customer, but you're not. You said yes to the business and maybe that business you know, for me, part of the business, when I understood how it all worked, when my husband lost his, his career and we went from a really comfortable income to a really zero income, I thought about all the other wives that something tra tragic happens to their sole breadwinner and how are they gonna pay the bills? 
you're right. Like we were fortunate we had, we had a cushion. We knew it wouldn't last forever, but we knew we had a cushion. But what about the wives who are worried about, you know, holding it together, taking care of the family, getting the kids to school, making sure her husband is, you know, going to all the therapies and now she's got to go to, to work, right? Cause she's got to pay the bills and they've just, or, or maybe she hasn't gone to work, but they're worried about how are they going to pay the mortgage? So you have a story and I would just really encourage you to dive deep, sit with someone else and ping pong back and forth and figure out what was that moment for you that you decided better health was super important or making money and having additional stream of income that could create leveraged income for you. Cause you said yes. Anyway, that is a wrap. It's 956. Love to you all. Thank you again for this amazing opportunity to spend Sunday night evening with you. And I'm signing off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank great you job. So much, Sharon. That was beautiful. That was great. Sharon. Thank you. Thank that you, was Sharon. excellent. Thank you. Excellent nice job. job. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. That was